Good afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome. Let's all get lined up here and ready to go. It is recipe of the day. And we have another great recipe lined up for you today. We're gonna to be making a couple more ideas on sides for Thanksgiving next week. One of them I just came across and I thought it was so amazing. Um, made with uh, butternut squash, and some uh, cookie crumble on top. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So something else for an idea instead of your normal um, sweet potatoes with uh, marshmallows on top, which I love. I mean, I'm always game for those anyway. Uh, but just another idea um, in that department. And then also uh, we are gonna be making homemade mac and cheese, world's best mac and cheese. So um, I know it's a favorite at everyone's holiday meals, so I thought we'd make a quick batch here and I am going to clean out my refrigerator drawer today with all the cheeses that I had and that is the cheese we're using today is refrigerator cheese drawer clean out mac and cheese today <laughs> so let's get started hey Denise how are you welcome I'm gonna get started I'm gonna put the, the macaroni in here in the pot and let it start going here I'm gonna set the timer so I don't forget about it <laughs> And I'm not going to cook it all the way because I'm still going to cook it when I put it in, uh, in the pan. So I'm going to cook it till it's al dente. Um, but I'm going to get it started while you guys are, are watching here. So I'm going to start here with six tablespoons of butter. And I need a whisk, which I thought I had all my utensils out, but I guess I don't. So here we go. Butter going in. So we will get that mel uh, melting. And then to that, I'm going to put some shallot because that's what I had. You could use onion too. But I'm going to start with some shallot. And then in here too, I have some fresh um, chopped garlic. It happens to be in this dish. I just stuck it in one dish. So it's going in there. Some shallot and some garlic. Whoa, I'm trying to get the shallots out away from the garlic. And the butter is melting. So we got started with that. Because um, have you ever made mac and cheese from, from scratch? Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so much better than the box, if you saw our show, Rex and I did a mac and cheese bake off in May. It was really fun. I made it from scratch and he made it from the blue box and I beat him. <laughs> hey Carol, how are you? Thanks for watching. We're going to make a yummy butternut squash side today and mac and cheese. So I've just got the butter starting back here to melt for our, and it's a little bit of, whoops, a little bit of shallot, a little bit of garlic in the pan. And I have our pasta in here. Let me give it a stir. And I just picked the pasta I had in the cabinet. It's big um, tubes today, so, but that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to get started here on my um, butternut squash. Now the recipe said to boil it, but I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to boil it. So I roasted it in the oven while I was waiting for you guys. I threw it in, chopped it up. I peeled the whole uh, butternut squash, cut it up into chunks like this and then just roasted it in the oven for about an hour and we're re ready to go here with our, and this was one four pound butternut squash is what is in here. Oh my gosh, see how much yummier that looks with the sugar in the squash has caramelized, of course, always parchment paper. Makes clean up, makes clean up a breeze. So I'm gonna mash this a bit. So I got out my masher. Just smash this. Now the recipe said to do this in the Cuisinart, but I'm like, I'm not trying to make baby food here. So I like to keep a little bit of the texture of the squash. But whatever you like, if you like it smooth and pureed, then go for it. But I'm going to just mash it a little bit and keep some of the texture of the squash in this. I'll smell my butter going on back here. Oh my gosh. Yum! So to my butter that is going here, I'm going to add my spices. I didn't have any dry mustard and they didn't have any at Trader Joe's. So I'm just going to use a spurt of my favorite, Grey Poupon. And then I'm going to put a little cayenne in, in here. It just calls for a little bit, like um, an eighth of a teaspoon. Well that's, you know, like half of the smallest teaspoon. So I'm going to put a little pinch of cayenne in here. And get that going on. And a little salt and pepper and some nutmeg. Where my nutmeg is on this side. I had to just get a new one. I'm out of nutmeg, all these things I've made. So we're gonna put a little pinch of nutmeg down. A little bit goes a long way. So again, just a little pinch of nutmeg. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Yum! And then 
then I'm gonna put some salt and pepper. Hey Patty, how are you? Hey Nick, Gary, welcome. We're making a couple more sides for Thanksgiving ideas. We're gonna make this butternut squash side that looked so good. I've never seen anything like it. And then we're making homemade mac and cheese. So back here I've got butter, shallots, garlic, a little spices, a little nutmeg, a little cayenne, a little mustard, salt and pepper going in. And uh, we're gonna make a little roux here. Roux, roux, roux. Oh my gosh, yum! So I'm just trying to get the shallots and the garlic to cook them up a little bit so you don't have that raw taste before I put the flour in. Now I've got, I'll show you guys and see, we've got a little bit of a brown butter thing going on there. Oh my gosh, you can smell the garlic and the onion. Yum! So I'm going to take six tablespoons of flour and sprinkle that in and stir it up. And we're going to let that cook for a minute to get that flour taste out. Because we don't want, we don't want that raw flour taste. Yucky. Okay, so back to my uh, butternut squash here that I roasted in the oven about an hour and got it nice and yummy, caramely. Hey Chris, how are you? Erica, Anne Marie, how's it going? We're making a couple more Thanksgiving side ideas, especially now that, I don't know, we're not probably going to have as large of gatherings as we might have. So this is the whipped cream cheese and I'm going to put about a cup into this. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. <laughs> I love bu uh, bu uh, bu butternut squash. You guys le uh, like it too? So I just thought this recipe sounded delish. Okay, so in there is our um, cream cheese. And then I'm going to put um, one cup of crushed pineapple. Yum. And then this recipe actually called for a little bit of butter. Two tablespoons melted going in. Because what's not good with a little more butter, baby? Um, I was going to, the recipe called for honey nut cream cheese. Well, I couldn't find it. So I'm just using regular whipped cream cheese and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of honey in there and call it uh, honey nut cream cheese. <laughs> oh my gosh, yum! So I got everything in there. Our squash, our pineapple, the cream cheese, butter, oh, some cinnamon and some nutmeg. So here's cinnamon, half a teaspoon. See how my roux is doing back here. I do not want to burn my roux while I am talking to you guys here. So, oh my gosh, it smells delicious. Uh, oh my gosh, yum, it's getting nice and brown and yummy. So let me, oh, dang, been one of those days, I tell you. It's a Wednesday though. It looks like it actually might rain here in California. That'd be awesome. Um, we don't get that much rain, but it looks like it might. What do you think? And uh, we, uh, I'm putting half a teaspoon of cinnamon in our creation here. And then I'm going to put half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm actually going to put a little bit less because I think nutmeg goes a long way. So hang on to that. I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg in this. Oh my gosh. Yum! And then keep grinding mixing it up here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Now I did salt and pepper the butternut squash when I uh, put it in the oven to roast it. So there is some salt and pepper on the squash already. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to start with our milk here. Again, just like I'm cleaning out my um, cheese drawer with all our left over uh, cheese, I am um, also doing the same thing here. Here's another grab a pepper with, with um, the milk. So in here, I have whole milk. I have a little bit of cream I had left from the show on Saturday. I have half and half. So all together, it'll be five cups, but I did a whole combination of what I had in the fridge. Because, you know, recipe's just a guideline. You use what you got. How are my Instagrammers? Oh my gosh, this is going to be so yummy. I'm pouring it in a little bit at a time to minimize our lumps and getting it mixed in. I almost never use cream except on the show, but just a little bit of cream I had left, it was less than a cup, a, a, 
of this is cream is going to give it so much bo uh, body in the finished sauce. But you know, you see how many points or calories cream has, and oh my goodness, <laughs> you use it sparingly. And this is another cup here to make that measuring cup was four cups. So this last cup will make five cups of milk products, half and half, whipping cream, and regular milk. And let me test my pasta here. Here my thing is going off. Let's see how it's going back here. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Let's see how it is. Because I want it done, but I want it pretty al dente, or your finished macaroni and cheese is going to be um, sticky. Hey, Becky, how are you? Look, I'm making mac and cheese. Becky makes the best mac, uh, mac and cheese, the best. Oh my gosh, that's good. Because it's still al dente, it has a bite, but it's almost done. So, move my dirty whisk here. Hold on. And let me turn off the beeper so that stops beeping. And pick this up out of the water here because it's ready. Oh my gosh. Becky, are you home yet? Are you home from, from your trip? Becky was in Louisiana for her dad's funeral, but it looked fun because the whole family was there. Hey, Jill, I am using your brie, you will see here in a minute. I am repurposing the brie. <laughs> Okay, let me finish going here. So in here are butternut squash, cream cheese, a cup of crushed pineapple, some spices, and a little bit of butter. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to taste it and make sure it doesn't need, I think it needs more salt or anything. But oh my gosh, it smells delish. Oh my gosh. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, let's see. Well, Jill, you could see if it's, ra it's raining too from your house. How do the clouds look? They look menacing from here. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt just because that pineapple is so sweet. Where'd my salt go? Right here. And because uh, it's going to cook up, I'm going to put a little bit more salt. I got cream cheese on my salt. And I'm going to put a little bit more pepper. I'm going to show you the toppings for this. Ooh, it's so yummy. Getting pepper going on. What's your favorite side for Thanksgiving? Giving, what do you always make? Your go-to, because I'm looking for ideas. <laughs> oh my gosh, that cornbread stuffing the other day. Oh man, so good. Oh, and the recipes from Saturday's show are absolutely epic. So I also made short ribs that day for dinner, not on the show, but I put the recipe in the comments on Saturday's show. Delicious. Okay, so this yummy mixture of deliciousness is going into the pan. Now I've already buttered the pan, so not to worry, it won't stick, but this is going in. Doesn't this look good? A totally different twist. I have never seen a dish like this. So it would be in the, you know, sweet potato uh, marshmallow category here, but we've got roasted butternut squash and pineapple. Yummy. Okay, and then the topper for this, hold on to your hat here to get it even so when I cook this thing, it'll be good. The well, director wants me to move my dirty dishes, so I'm going to make the topping. Okay, this. Oh my gosh. Check on my, hold on a second, let me stir my sauce here. Okay, that is good. Just wait for that to bubble up a little bit and thicken up a little bit, and then we're going to add our cheese menagerie to that. OMG. Okay, topping for our yummy squash is chessmen cookies. I mean, killer is that. So, yeah, we're going to take our cookies and we're going to. I've already crushed them a little bit. Now, again, I didn't crush them like pulverize them because I wanted to be able to tell that there was some kind of a topping on this dish. So I had Rex actually crush these for me. And to that I'm going to add um, one tablespoon of sugar. I don't know what we needed sugar for in the cookies, but that's what it called for. And then I'm going to put a little bit of butter in this to make a little topping. Oh my gosh. And wet it all down. 
This is going to be so delish. And then I'll end of this. Get another fork out and get all those cookie crumbs coated in butter and they will brown up beautifully. And so we are going to add this next for our topping on top of this is our crushed uh, chessmen cookies in a little topping layer. Oh yes. Yum! That looks awesome. Do you have a, re a recipe that you've made that called for cookies on top? I have never made one. And I have made a lot of things. <laughs> so here we go. So on top of that, we're going to take our um, honey roasted almonds. And I did get these at Trader Joe's. Is how I even knew they existed because I had seen them before. So they come like this. Honey roasted sliced almonds. And I'm going to put a layer on top of our cookies here. And then boom, that dish is ready for the oven. We'll cook that about 35 minutes. And then we have a new and delicious side idea for Thanksgiving or any meal. Check that out. Yum, don't you think? I know, I thought so too. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna move this back here. And we're gonna move back on to our, oh my gosh, what a mess I made here, guys. Where is my crew? Let me wipe up my mess here. How are you guys today? You know, the real estate market is crazy and busy. We have a listing appointment after this today. So if you know anyone thinking about real estate, call us because, boy, we need inventory. I mean, inventory is so low. If you ever thought about selling your house, selling your investment property, now is the time because it is crazy out there. Multiple offers and interest rates are record low. It's great for the buyers too. So it's all good. Okay. Now I'm going to do go move, carry on with my, um, sauce. I'm going to put a little bit of Worcestershire in my mac and cheese because it's getting, thicken it up. Oh my gosh. Yum. I wish you guys could see this, but it's getting, getting nice and thickened up here. I'm going to put a little bit of Worcestershire just for a little bit of zip in there. And then my cheeses. Oh my goodness. I have so many yummy things in my cheeses. In my cheese drawer. Because you just never know. Make sure I got everything in there. Before I move on. Yeah, we got the nutmeg and the cayenne. Good. I have the Oaxaca uh, quesadilla cheese that I love. That melts beautifully. And I had a little bit of that. So let's put some of that in here. And I think I'm going to save a little bit of that. To put on the top. Because it melts so be beautifully, it'll be pretty on the top. And then I have some extra sharp cheddar here and some jack. So put those in. And then underneath here, I have some brie that Jill had brought over and we didn't eat it all. So I took it and I took off the skin, chunked it up into chunks, and I'm putting the brie in here. So you saw it in a restaurant when it says... You know, four cheese, gourmet, mac and cheese. Here we go. Four cheese, gourmet, mac and cheese. I'm actually going to make it five cheese. So I'm just trying to get all my brie out of here, out of the ball, out of the ball bottom. I made chunks, but you can't tell because it's covered in cheddar. But it's actually brie. Because, you know, if you're going to use real cream, why, why not use real brie? <laughs> why not? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're going to let that, all my yummy cheesiness, get melted together. Oh my gosh, does anyone know for our birthday shout outs whose special birthday it is today? Anyone knows? If we have any diehard fans here, somebody might know. that it is a very special celebrity birthday today. Let's see who knows. If the Fletchers are watching, Lisa, you probably know who this is since you're there. Oh my gosh. This is looking absolutely killer. Now I know the secret to yummy get yummy mac and cheese is Velveeta. But today I'm not using Velveeta, I'm using Brie. <laughs> oh my goodness, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna taste this. 
This is getting nice and thick and ready to dump our pasta in here. See if this pan's gonna take it all. What do you think? Another pasta gonna fit in there. Try not to make a huge mess while you guys are watching. <laughs> okay, let me taste that real quick before we make a big pan of that and see. Oh my goodness. Okay, very hot. Oh my gosh, so delicious. Delicious, delicious, absolutely. I'm gonna put one more pinch of cayenne in that and uh, just because I like it, another pinch. And then um, I'm gonna get this bone here together and get it in our big pan. So I will, what are we doing here? Okay, following the director's orders here. Okay, so to this, I'm gonna put my macaroni in here and hopefully it will all go. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna take my macaroni here. Oops, very hot. Oh, that's still on, that's why. Hold on. Ouch, that hurt. <laughs> Hold on, get something to pick that up with. Okay, here we go. I'm actually gonna dump it real quick. Get it softened up. Well, it's been sitting there waiting for me. Here we go. Get the water out. Ooh! Try the easiest, quickest way to do this with you guys watching. So let's see, is it gonna fit? Woo! Now you could add broccoli to this, you could add chicken to to this if you wanted to make it a, a main course, no problem. You could mix it and mix in more vegetables, mushrooms, whatever is your family's favorite and it would be delicious. But that is your basic cheese sauce with everything from the cheese drawer. And I'm gonna get it all mixed together here. Oh my gosh, looks so good. And since I picked these big tubes of pasta, the sauce is going to get all inside the tubes, fill them up with sauce. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. Okay, you guys, this is a killer favorite yummy side for holiday or any night. And that, how long did that take? That didn't take very long. Ten minutes? And it's delish. So here we go. Look at that deliciousness. Oh my goodness. Show you that way. Look at all that. Yes, sirree. Get all of our sauce into this, and then I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on top. Then, when you're ready to make this, now you can make this the day ahead, no problem. Stick it in the fridge. And the thing with the squash, you can make it ahead so you don't have to be making them all on Thanksgiving, no problem. So, that is um, oh my gosh, looking delish. So, on top of that, I'm going to add a little bit more of this Oaxaca. Um, shredded cheese, this quesadilla cheese that is the best. One of the best cheese ever for queso fundido. Uh, you use this kind and it is just the best. It melts beautifully and it's delicious. I also have saved a little bit of cheddar just for color on top. And then we are gonna be good with our homemade mac and cheese, but that yummy squash dish. Oh my gosh, delish. Okay, I have a little parm out. I can put a little parm on top of that too, parmesan. Um, I'm going to leave it there and bring my other dish back so you guys can see. Yummy, yummy Thanksgiving sides. Two more ideas for Thanksgiving. Delish, delish, delish. Now we get to my um, birthday shout outs. Hey, Julia, how are you? Welcome to the show today. We are making yummy things. So birthday shout out hat today. Did anyone guess what celebrity birthday it is today? It is Mickey Mouse's birthday. Happy birthday to Mickey Mouse. And we do have some friends that are in Florida celebrating with him today at, at the happiest place on earth. So happy birthday to Mickey. It is also Carol Higa's bur uh, birthday. Happy birthday to you. Tomorrow it is Casey Tate who gave us an incredible tour of the market when we were in Jerusalem. She lives there and um, just an incredible, incredible visit with her was the last time I saw her was in Israel. She's amazing. And then Friday, our Oklahoma friend, Judy Diaz. Happy birthday to you on Friday, dear friend. We need to get something. Um, uh, I can't read that. I, we, we, <laughs> my director's giving me direction, but I can't read his writing. 
Um, we need to get together. Judy, it's your birthday. Let's get together. So happy birthday to you, dear friend. And then it was also, while I was looking things up, it is Princess Day. So I thought that was a good day. We should all celebrate Princess Day or be celebrated. Um, and then my brother was very excited about Vichyssoise Day. It is Vichyssoise Day. If you don't know what Vichyssoise is, a potato and leek soup that is usually served cold. You notice I didn't make that t today, but it is delicious. And the chef at the Ritz Carlton, I think it was in New York, developed that. And you serve it hot or cold, but it's usually served cold. So, um, is it his too? Oh, I don't know. I missed it. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. We are here live Wednesdays and Saturdays. And you can also find these videos uh, on YouTube at Ventura Real Estate. And I will put the recipes here down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, you can visit us at GaryAndLisa.com for all your real estate needs in Ventura County. Or if you need a referral outside of the area, we are in the Berkshire Hathaway Network. So we... Um, can get you an agent if you need one somewhere else. So thank you for watching. We love having you here. Let us know what you're doing for Thanksgiving. And we look forward to seeing you soon. We'll see you Saturday. And talk to you later. Thanks for watching.